Okay, we're going to get back to this now. One of the issues that I have where it broke is right down in here. Right in here, the, the shell separation is kind of funky, so it's leaving me, it's going to leave me a bump there. So what I'm going to have to do somehow is manage to clean some of that wood out of there without just completely destroying the shell. And I know a lot of guys are looking at me going, man, just toss that thing. It's not about that. It's about the challenge of the possibility of this actually being a pretty good little drum. I am intrigued by this stuff, especially these old drums, and I think you guys know that. But uh, more importantly, if we can all learn something about repairing drums and making viable drums out of not-so-viable drums, why not? And if it gives somebody else an idea on how to repair something that they have no clue about, then so be it. Then they might be able to save a drum that they thought lost. When I first looked at this, I was bummed out. I was like, oh man, this sucks. I'm going to have to send it back. I don't really want to do that because it matches. <laughs> it matches perfectly to the other set, to the set that I just finished. So... I get to transfer all the hardware, maybe, maybe not. I've got a really nice brand new pearl throw and butt that I'm going to actually switch out. Yeah, I know, not period correct, but you know what? It's seamless, it's flawless, and, you know, I want to be able to play well on that on this kit, and I want it to sound good. So I'm going to get after this, clean this out a little bit, come back.